Hi, and welcome to Steve's Retro Computing. Today we will be taking a look at the Macintosh SE30, a somewhat collectible Apple computer manufactured from January 19, 1989 to October 21, 1991. The machine has a very unique case design similar to the Apple computers at the time. Uh, compared to such Apple computers such as the Macintosh 128K and Macintosh Plus. The machine is very unique due to the fact that it has an internal hard drive and internal fan, something that most Macintosh computers at the time did not have. Uh, you can simply uh, use the switch on the back to turn on the machine, and when you turn on the machine you will be greeted um, not by any floppy disk at all, but by a Happy Mac and a Welcome to Macintosh screen. This is due to the fact because the hard drive is internal. Um, the Lotus, the um, OS boots up um, relatively fast, and as you can see right here, it does not have a floppy disk anymore. It has the um, hard disk uh, due to the fact that there is no floppy disk um, booted off on the machine. And um, yeah, you have a system folder, a trash can, and you can even look at um, the finder here. It runs system um, 6.05, and the finder is 6.15. So um, as we see, as we see right here. Um, we see um, the machine itself. The machine featured a Motorola 6830 processor running at 16 megahertz and was upgradable to one megabyte of RAM. Uh, the Macintosh C30 um, usually featured a 40 megabyte or 80 megabyte hard drive. This one is an 80 megabyte hard drive. Uh, when acquiring a Macintosh SE30, I, my best recommendation is actually Craigslist because this machine is particularly really heavy and going to be much difficult to ship. Um, you can usually find working Macintosh SE30s for around $50 to $200 depending on the condition of the machine. Probably a machine like this would run you about um, $175 in the condition of the machine and everything that it has. And it's a very clean machine. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and um, I'll see you next time. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, bye-bye.